easy to find me. All right, let me hand this off. Peace out. We actually like playing. Hello. playing. Hello. Is it happening? I think so. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me through the headphones or just because I'm close to you? Both. But I think I can hear you through the headphones. I can Nick. Hear you. Hey, Nick. Should we be able to hear each other through the headphones? Okay, sick. Okay. I can hear Nick, but not through the headphones. He's also close to me. <laughs> he can right. have a headset on. So I can tell you that there's some background on this matchup. Okay, please do. Brynjolf, aka. Hawkeye, oh my god, that sounded so weird. AKA uh, JSP3. Uh, loves this matchup. This oh, is this is real. Matchup. Uh, as far as the bracket goes, I don't think I'm out of out of place in saying that this is the matchup he wanted. Like, if he could pick anyone to play in this in that bracket, I think this is the one he feels most comfortable scoring in terms of an upset. Uh oh, well, that's pretty good. Uh, that doesn't change the fact that Martin is, uh, is a puff. Yeah, uh, is a puff, Lord English, uh, and he is ranked more highly in the state. I believe he's ranked fourth. Four on the current PR. Yep. Yep. Uh, his most of his wins last PR season came against uh, PR people here, though, so he hasn't been that active. Right. Uh, Should have just stayed in the middle there as puff. You can just crouch there. You can hold middle, and if they roll in, you get free rest. I was gonna say. So do you ever like? Not necessarily study, but watch l what Lord English does no. as a puff player yourself? Nope. Okay. He's not good enough. Huh? He's not good enough. For I you? Mean, oh, you're like, I'm going to study top players. Yeah, no, I, I mean, everyone should. should. Like, I don't right, right, think right. there's a great appeal in studying people that aren't top players, right? I, mean, uh, I don't know if that's true. Because it can be little things that you take for granted. Um, I, suppose, I suppose I can see how like little things would be problematic, but I mean... I just careful study should probably pick up on all of that stuff. Right. The other thing that um, it, it allows you to do is, is you don't pick up on subpar habits that right. look good in the hands of like slightly better players than you. Right. Like you might not pick up on something like little. Like you might pick up on something accidentally that's not that great. Right. Whereas if I'm watching Armada play Peach, like I might. Every, everything he does is right. Right. So I just think that I'm going to gain more from that. But I understand how that could be problematic for a lot of people. Right. Because, I mean, you're starting. You have to, like, you have to put more work in in some ways. Ooh. But, yeah. Um, all right, so. That seems like a At this percent, uh, down air, that was a, probably not what he's going for. So this percent, um, down air from Puff will uh, lead to grab if he gets the L cancel, which uh, is never guaranteed, which is why you should be mashing two buttons. All right, and game one goes to Martin. You went on a roller coaster ride. He did, um, but it wasn't that far off. No, no, that was super close. That's I why would, I, I wouldn't go super close, but it was. Well, it wasn't that far off. All right, Fox is pretty good. Fox I feel is like good if you can go to last stock against the Puff, you have a chance. It's not like percent matters too much. Oh no. Yeah, this is. Uh, oh, he got. Oh, nice I think Martin actually RTI messed up there. Um, yeah. That or he didn't expect him to yeah, hold it. No, that was a combination of things. Um, that was a good, good RDI in, because sometimes you don't expect that. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, nice call out of him coming straight in, but I don't know what other angle he could have even taken. All right, so Martin with the empty hops here. That's kind of interesting. Um, he's really trying to snipe him off the platforms. Uh, any puff here in the state that's played John knows all about platform sniping and how valuable it is. Can you explain it real quick? So as puff, uh, the... You have a disjointed hitbox with your up air, so what you can do is just kind of short hop under that platform and fastball, and like let out the up air a little bit later and sort of drag that hitbox through. Through the through the platform. Right, and sometimes you even get the shield poke, which just makes it really good. So like right there, like he's just seeing that. Oh, hey, I have like that's one of the reasons that these platforms are good for Puff in some ways, because like she doesn't need to like double jump or anything to get to them. All right, and that was just. Impatience on, yeah. uh, on Martin's part. Ideally, JSP3 uh, is going to figure out where Martin likes to land. Right. Because um, you can't, I don't know if it's valuable to swing at her in the air, but if you can see where it's she bounce. likes to come down, you can get, I don't know, yeah, I guess. Yeah, no. You can crouch cancel if you're on the ground. Right. You know? And it's one of those situations where, I mean, foxes as a rule run away from Puff. It's not the other way around. Right. So, like, as Puff, you've got to be cognizant at all times of, like, when Fox is in range. Because foxes are just going to run away from you when they feel like they're not safe. Right. Like, that's what they do. That's that's what fox players think is called playing intelligently. 
It's not, but it's close <laughs> enough. Especially at this level, you know? So, like... Yeah, so, like, he keeps getting knocked off of these platforms, and I think that's... I don't know. I'm sure he'll pick up on that. I just don't know if he'll pick up on it early enough for it to help him. Oh, like, wow. I didn't know if he had enough time for another aerial. Yeah, if you get the weak hit of fair as buff, uh, you get the strong hit guaranteed. No really? No matter what the DI is. Very cool. Really good. Um, it's something that Hungry Dogs is more practicing. All right. One, no. of those, one of those fist pumps where it's, yeah. like, obligatory. Right. And uh, 